This Chinese company silently dropped the most powerful language model, and nobody is talking about it. In benchmarks, this model crushes GPT-4 by a huge margin. Since time, one of the world's most powerful AI companies just dropped a massive bombshell on the industry that could change everything we know about artificial intelligence. From language models that can outperform GPT-4 to edge AI hardware running huge neural networks locally at blazing speeds. And I'm not just hyping it up here. In this video, I'm going to break down all the insane product details and demo showcases. If this doesn't get you excited about the future of AI, I don't know what will. The centerpiece is their new SenseNova 5.0 AI model system. This uses a hybrid expert architecture trained on over 10 terabytes of data tokens, including a massive amount of synthetic data for boosting reasoning abilities. During inference, it can handle context windows up to 200,000 tokens long. SenseTime claims SenseNova 5.0 enhances knowledge, math, coding and reasoning skills so much that it meets or exceeds GPT-4's performance by up to 10% in mainstream benchmarks. Their demo showcases feature their SenseNova 5.0 model system, going blow for blow with GPT-4 Turbo, while flexing visionary multimodal skills. They even played the classic fighting game King of Fighters in one demo. At first, the green player, which was GPT-4, had a slight upper hand, but it didn't last long before the red player, Sense Time Zone Sense Chat Lite Edge model, started overwhelming GPT-4 with a relentless combo attack. In the end, Sense Time's fighter emerged victorious over OpenAI's contender. It was a pretty cheeky way for Sense Time to symbolize how their lightweight edge models can actually outpace and outmuscle larger cloud AI like GPT-4 in certain situations. The key, they explained, is that smaller edge models can make decisive moves almost instantly, while larger models are still crunching calculations. They emphasized how crucial this speed advantage is for real-time AI applications like autonomous vehicles or robotics, where split-second decision-making is vital. So while GPT-4 may be an immensely capable cloud model, SenseTime was flexing their specialty in ultra-low latency edge AI that can sometimes beat the bigger fighters to the punch. Tech giants like WPS Office, Xiaomi, Huawei, and major banks who are already integrating their AI breakthroughs. And frankly, we'll gawk at the mind-melting AI feats like text-to-video generation that SenseTime paraded for the world to see. One of the most jaw-dropping demos they showed was their text-to-video AI system. Essentially, you can feed it a written description or script, and it will automatically generate a coherent video based on those instructions. That's already incredibly powerful on its own. But here's where SenseTime really flexed. Their system allows you to precisely control multiple elements of the generated video. Want a specific character with a certain hairstyle, outfit, and accessories? No problem, you can preset those details. During the demo, they showed examples spinning up entirely new characters with different looks and outfits into distinct surroundings, all from scratch based on text inputs. The potential for creative expression and world building is simply mind boggling. So, from what I can see here, they've evaluated their SenseNova 5.0 and SenseChat models against the big boys like GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and even models like Llama and Claude across a range of different tasks and capabilities. It covers everything from understanding multimodal inputs like text and images to visualizing information, answering trivia doing geometric reasoning, common sense tasks, and even video comprehension. Now here's the interesting part. In several of these categories, SenseTime's models are literally outperforming GPT-4 and the others. Like just look at that helping hand, task for vision language robot control. SenseTime has left everyone else in the dust. Those green highlights show where their models scored the best compared to all the other industry models listed. So in areas like multimodal language understanding, handling Chinese text, and certain types of reasoning, SenseTime seems to have a legitimate edge. Obviously, GPT-4 and Claude are still hugely capable models themselves. They trade blows across different tasks. But SenseTime clearly wasn't messing around when they claimed their models can go toe-to-toe -to -toe or even surpass GPT-4 in certain specialized skills. It makes you wonder what kind of data and architectures they use to achieve those kinds of decisive wins in areas like multimodal grounding and robotic control. My money is on tons of synthetic data and real-world samples from their computer vision work. Anyway, I know benchmarks can sometimes be cherry-picked or gamed, 
But assuming these are legit third-party evaluations, it's a heck of a flex for SenseTime's AI chops. Makes me excited to see how they'll put all these capabilities into real-world products and services. Oh, and we have to talk about one of the products SenseTime revealed as part of this big AI launch, the Little Raccoon Code Large Model All-in-One Machine. This is essentially a self-contained appliance built specifically to supercharge AI coding assistants and developer workflows. They claim it only costs developers less than $4.50 a day to run this thing. If those numbers are anywhere near accurate, it could make AI pair programming ridiculously affordable for enterprise teams compared to cloud alternatives. But the benefits go beyond just cost savings. By running a high-performance local model, SenseTime says their coding assistant achieves blistering response times that put cloud models to shame. That low latency is crucial for AI programming to feel seamless and that not constantly disrupt developers' flow. From the demos, the coding assistant did seem incredibly capable at comprehending requirements, explaining solutions, generating boilerplate code, refactoring existing projects, basically augmenting developers' skills across the entire dev cycle. They even claimed superior performance to GPT-4 on certain benchmarks for coding tasks. So if SenseTime can truly deliver an affordable, secure, low-latency AI coding powerhouse in that portable appliance form factor, well, I can see why they're so giddy to launch it. Every software company could potentially want one of those little raccoon machines integrated into their development pipelines. It's the kind of productized AI that makes the technology tangible and accessible, instead of just living in theoretical cloud models. The real test will be how well it actually works at accelerating development in the hands of coding teams. But SenseTime is making a bold play to become the de facto AI coding companion for enterprises. It's just one piece, but a seriously compelling one, in their grand AI platform vision. But here's where it gets really wild. Their vision AI capabilities were also superhuman-like. Like you could show it a food photo, and it would describe every item while calculating total calories accurately. Or it could read text and interface elements perfectly from application screenshots. The multimodal skills were just mind-blowing. Look, I know skepticism around hyped AI claims is healthy, and SenseTime will need to walk a tightrope to ensure their models are safe, unbiased, and secure as they scale. But man, you have to admit, between the cutting-edge model capabilities, supercharged hardware, app ecosystem, and those tantalizing enterprise appliance plays, this launch package had enough gas to potentially make SenseTime a major global AI force. Am I overreacting here? Or are you as stoked as I am about where the Chinese AI landscape could be headed, with SenseTime taking a bold lead? Let me know what you think, because my mind is still racing from all those demos and product details. I may need another coffee to settle my AI hype levels. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll stay up to date whenever I drop a new video. Thank you.